Hi there. My name is Stacy Austin, and I am um, the Overseer and Director of Sacred Arts for Faith and Covenant Fellowship. And welcome to Day 12 of the 40 Days of Renewed Hope. Today's thought is finding God in sweet faith. It has been um, almost four years, it'll be four years next month, since I've uh, relocated back here to Alabama. I grew up here, lived in Louisiana for 18 years, and almost four years ago, we, re we relocated back here to Alabama. In these four years, I've had an opportunity and a privilege um, to work very closely with my father. And my father has his hands in various different things, which means if I'm working with him, I have my hands in various different things. During this time, uh, my dad has asked me to do some challenging, challenging things. Um, things that I've never done before, things I have absolutely no experience in, um, but he's asked me to do these things and literally um, with no with no training. Um, he gives me the assignment. You would think I've been trained in this. You would think I have years and years of experience in this. He gives me the assignment and just say, do this. And I just have to figure it out. And it's funny because after um, the assignment or the task at hand are completed, uh, my mom would say, oh my God, I could never do that. Or, you know, uh, my sister would give uh, her feedback about it. And um, I just always say that it's not really that I have confidence and faith in myself that I can do it. Um, I just ride off of dad's faith. So the fact that he has so much faith in me and the fact that when he gives me the assignment, he has so much confidence in me. I just ride off of his faith. And so... Um, it's funny because it challenged, it has challenged me. It has stretched me, but riding off of his faith has gotten me um, um, to the end result, positive end result, successful end result. And that reminds me of um, Mary in the book of Luke, Luke 1. And the angel shows up with her and tells her, Hail Mary, you're a highly favorite. And I think... Uh, a lot of times we get favor um, caught up or or we just think favor or we limit favor, I should say, until the unexpected checks in the mail and the job we did not apply for but got hired or the unexpected raise or things like that. And those are favor, don't get me wrong. But I also think that favor is uh, I can trust you to handle the task that I've assigned to you. And so just as my dad has so much um, confidence in me, he favors me to know that I can trust you with the task I've assigned you. That's how um, God favored Mary, that he knew that he could trust her with the task that he was getting ready to give her. It was a first. It had never been done before, before then. And this particular task, it has not been done since then. This was a once in a uh, life history making event has never been done. And so Mary was trying to figure out, well, how this is going to be based off of the, the favor, but then the instruction that the angels gave her, what was getting ready to happen through her. And she's like, how this, how is this going to be? How is this going to happen? And so she may not have had enough confidence in herself. She may not have even thought she could actually do it, but because um, the, the word that was given her was given to her with so much confidence and assurance. I believe she just rolled off the confidence of the Lord and be like, I don't know how that's going to be, but you trust me with it. So I accept. And so the dream may be bigger than you. Um, the thing that the Lord has given you may be bigger than you. And you're trying to figure out how is this going to happen? Even if you're not there where you have enough faith within yourself, just ride off of the confidence that he gave it to you. That means that he can trust you with it. Be it unto me, according to that word. Wherever we are in the world and whatever our place is within it, we are within God's reach. We are never lost. Pray this with me. Lord, anchor us in godly hope. 
in Jesus' name, amen.